Karyanan, who works as a strategist in an ad agency. So, Abhishek, why don't you give us a brief synopsis of your career and what your main motive was for going to uh, pursue advertising? Hi, thanks. Uh, happy to be here. Uh, I guess I, growing up, I always had a wide variety of careers. I've taught in uh, different aspects of culture. Um, I was also a bit quizzer, so I was in a lot of trivia and things like that. So I guess uh, I was looking for something where I can uh, bring many different interests together in, in, in the job. Right? So advertising is one of those where you can get to do that. Uh, and specifically, internet advertising is strategic planning. Uh, it helps to bring in different perspectives, it helps to know different things about the world, uh, culture, economics, history, politics, uh, behavior, psychology. In a typical day, uh, someone who does strategy will tend to think of you know, one or more of these subjects at the same time. So I guess that's really where there's a bit uh, the kind of person I am, the, the kind of work that all right so how do you feel that technology and startups may impact uh, advertising in the near future right um so first thing is just that look uh, i think as long as there is an economy and as long as people need products and there are people who are selling those products there will always be a need for advertising and such what technology will do and has is radically change the way advertising happens, how advertising happens, where advertising happens, and what happens in those ads, right? So I think um, if uh, you know you if you think about banks before the digital uh, technology came in, right? Uh, a company, a brand would put out an ad in a newspaper, they may put out an ad on TV, right? And uh, a few weeks, days, months later, their product sells. Right? So now you don't know exactly how the advertising contributed to the sales. You know? it, is it that someone saw the ad and immediately went out to buy the product? Or is it that you know there was someone who was in there, in the store, and uh, you know they ended up uh, buying your product? So you know that is uh, what is called a gap of attribution. Whereas now with digital technology, it's very easy to see who uh, who saw your ad? When did they see it? Etc. And after that, you know, it's and especially if it's an online product where you know the the purchase is completed online itself, you can really have a um you can have a completed loop, right? So you know exactly that this particular ad uh, resulted in this particular result. So attribution is one. The other the other part is targeting. So um in the in the Offline kind of advertising, there was no, there was not much you could do to target someone, right? Um, all kinds of people, for example, read the Times of India. Uh, people from different backgrounds, male, female, old, young, all across the country. So, if you had a product or if you wanted to target someone specifically, a subsegment of these people, using uh, traditional media was much harder. So, how technology contributes is that you you are able to do that targeting in a much more specific way. And that makes your advertising spend much more effective. There is not much of wastage of your media money. So that's the other uh, way that it helps. And of course, uh, what's also happening is that in the digital space, uh, attention spans are much lower. You know, people uh, really don't have the time or the interest or the attention to, to consume um, some kind of long, uh, long-winded advertising. You have to really that you can get someone's attention, pass the message on, do the job of converting them in that very short kind of period of time, or you know, use content that works uh, both in terms of engaging the customer as well as uh, doing your brand job for you. I have you know, three three ways that the digital space has affected advertising, according to me. All right. So, what guidance do you think you have for a student? Uh, who looks to pursue a similar career in advertising? Right. Uh, so, uh, you know, this, uh, I feel advertising is one of those areas of life. Uh, maybe some other things like journalism, uh, uh, 
retail, etc., where you know your professional life and your personal life and your regular life are very interconnected. Um, you, if you're someone who is working with something very specific like uh, material science, or if you're working with a certain kind of financial product, uh, it, it's possible to really have two very discrete compartments of life, which is this is all to do with my work, this is all to do with my regular life. Whereas uh, you know, advertising is a part of culture. Alright, so thank you Abhishek, thank you for your time.